one that knew about that. So I also just want to mention very briefly, our economy is, is in trouble. Let's have them some more straight talk. Our economy is in trouble. And we're going to have to cut taxes. And we're going to have to lower interest rates. And one of the things we have to do is make the Bush tax cuts permanent. So Americans don't experience an increase in their taxes. There's a thing out there that's an evil called the alternate minimum tax. My friends, it was designed for a few very wealthiest people. It now can attack 25 million American families. It has to be repealed. It must be repealed. We have to do a lot of other things, and, and amongst them, de depreciation. Let the businessman write it off in one year. We have to do a lot of things, and passing this stimulus package quickly and getting it out to the American people is something we ought to do and not load it up with pork barrel projects. But we have to restrain spending. My friends, we have to restrain spending. I'm proud to have been part of the Reagan revolution. We came to Washington and we cut taxes and we restrained spending. And you and I know that our mistake, our mistake as Republicans was to let spending get completely out of control. And it cost us an election and it cost us more than that. It harmed our economy. Ronald Reagan used to say, and this is a very appropriate place to quote Ronald Reagan, if I might say, he said, he said, by the way, one of the thrilling moments for me and for Cindy is when we watch those ships going in and out, those Navy ships, and a special thrill is when the USS Ronald Reagan does that. It's such a thrilling moment for all of us, as, as you know. He used to say, Congress spends money like a drunken sailor, only he never knew a sailor drunk or sober with the imagination of Congress. <laughs> I'm not making this up, but I tell you, I got an email from a guy about six months ago that said, as a former drunken sailor, I resent being compared to members of Congress. <laughs> I can't blame the guy. So, my friends, look, when, when, when consumers spend money, it's good for the economy. When people invest in automobiles and products and all the goods and services, it's good. When Congress spends your money, it's bad for the economy. It's bad for the economy to spend $3 million to study the DNA of bears in Montana. I don't know if that was a paternity issue or a criminal issue, but it's bad. And we all know, we all know, the bridge to nowhere was a tipping point. That's when our Republican base became dispirited. And my friends, we, I would just, let me put it in terms that are 